In this video, I'm going to show you how to auto clear any cell of your choice when another cell changes. The default functionality of Excel would not allow us to clear any cell based on the value of another cell. So for me, I wanted to clear the value of cell C7 when the value of cell C6 changes. So by default, when we change the value of C6, the value of C7 will not change. However, after a small tweak in a VBA code, we'll have entirely different situation. So this is after. When I choose a quarter in C6, which means that C6 has new value, there is auto clear in cell C7. And here is what we need to do to enable this functionality. Uh, go to developer visual basic, or you can use a shortcut called alt F11, then choose project explorer, click on the sheet that you want uh, to be affected. And here we have to write a code. I have prepared this code already and you can just copy paste it from the video description. So I will copy it and paste it here. And here is a really, really, really important thing to say. So this code is designed in a way that um, if, if cell C6 is changed, the value of C6 is changed, then we have auto clear in cell C7. The cell C7 will be auto cleared. If in your case, you want this, the other dependency of the cells, let's say you want cell X4 to be auto cleared after the value of cell D12 is, uh, is changed. Then you have to write D12 here and x4 here that's it so that's the only thing that you will have to do yourself but in our case it was c6 c6 and c7 c7 now you want to save it save it close the vba and now um after you change the value of C6, the value of C7 is auto cleared. That's it. One important thing to mention is that you have to save it as a macro enabled workbook. So you'll have plenty of options uh, save for save as type and you'll have to choose Excel macro enabled workbook. That's it. Then it will work just fine. Now you know how to auto clear cell when another cell changes. You'll find the VBA code in the description below. If you found this video valuable, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and see you in the next video.